maths fans, given the current global crisis, let's use this opportunity to do something positive and learn about exponential growth in the context of an epidemic. I'm going to run a pretend scenario where I have the disease, but because I have no symptoms, I go about my daily life, business as usual, and see where we end up. Current estimates from the World Health Organization for the virus COVID-19 give a reproductive number R0 or R0 of around three. So what this means in practice is that if I have the disease in this pretend scenario, then I would expect to infect around three other people. Now there are four of us that have the virus, but the good news is that I'm starting to feel a lot better. So whilst I'm no longer infectious, the three new people that I've passed the disease onto will then go on themselves to infect another three people each. Now 12 people have the virus. The original three that I infected, plus another nine that they went on and infected themselves. And those nine new infections will go on and each infect another three people. 36 people are now ill. We've got the nine from five days previous, plus 27 new infections. It's getting pretty crowded. 108 people now have the virus. The 27 people who were infected five days earlier have each gone on to infect another three people, giving 81 new cases. It's fair to say that things are now definitely getting serious. 324 people now have the virus, which is far too many for me to fit on screen. Using data from 2018, 13% of the UK population is aged 70 and above. So this means potentially 42 people from the most vulnerable age group now have the virus and face a battle to stay alive. One month on and we have 1,296 cases of the virus. Based on data from the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, this could potentially lead to 17 deaths. That's 17 people who have died from a virus that can be traced back to me. The good news is that by practicing social distancing and reducing exposure to others, these numbers are drastically reduced. The exact same scenario with 50% less exposure leads to only 19 infections after 30 days, where only two of those come from the most vulnerable groups and therefore a very good chance that there are no deaths. The numbers don't lie. Please stay at home and stay safe.